winners and losers, losers that you think you should, in fact, short. What's the theme of your investment style for 2024? I think 2024 is going to be a wild ride for traders and investors. Why do I say that? Because it's not going to be a power trend year. In other words, you're not going to be able to just go long everything and you're not going to be able to short everything. And you're not going to be able to just go with every trend. The market is not going to power trend up the whole year of 2024. And people might be sucked into thinking that's going to happen, but it's not. It's going to be a wild year. Remember, it's an election year as well. So I think the key for me in 2024, which is what I always do, actually, is to look for specific stocks, whether I want to go long, whether I want to short. It's about what's happening exactly in that specific stock pick. And right now, as you know, earnings season started on Friday. Then we had the Monday holiday. So earnings season is going to be my focus in the next six to eight weeks. Right. You know, there was a time where we used to be on and you only had longs. Um, it was during a bull market. <clears throat> you know, is shorting something that you didn't do much of the last decade? Because now each time you've come on the last whatever year and a half, right, you started to look for shorts. But prior to that, you never really were interested in shorts. Was that something you sort of developed in your trading technique? Well, actually, I've always been doing shorts for day trades, but for longer term, I wasn't doing right. shorts. You're right. When we were on a lot, like every week back in 2017, 2018, even in 2016. So again, the market was very bullish, had a nice run up from 2016 to 2020, but things changed then in 2020. So yes, I've been somewhat bearish on the market at different periods in the last three and a half years. So that is why... When I come on, I guess I've always talked about shorts for day trades, but I know with Schwab, sometimes people are looking for longer term swing trades or even long term puts. So again, I don't think there's any problem with people maybe thinking about doing things for longer term out to the downside, which is not something that everybody necessarily wants to do because a lot of people like that are swing traders, they tend to want to go long, but you're going to get hurt in something, for example, like BA or even Tesla, because if you bought any of those stocks, at any of the support areas since the beginning of 2024, you are down, you are down and it's January 16th. So you haven't had a good start to the year. And again, you're going to see a wild ride with earnings season because not every sector is going to go all together. You've already seen that even in the last two days with the start of earnings season, you had JPM up on Friday, a brand new all time highs, then it sold off. Then you had Goldman down today. Now that's pushing back. So things are not even going together, even in the same sector. Right. Understood. All right. Well, last week we had some Tesla news and that was um, halting production, some price cuts in China. And this is a name that you're shorting. Today we've heard from Elon Musk saying that he wants to have greater control and really taking more ownership of how the AI advancements happen over at Tesla. Today, we're seeing up one and a quarter percent. But this is a name you would short. Why? Well, I still like to test it to the downside. It gapped down today pretty big. And again, even though it's pushing back, it has no signs of strength in it intraday. When you look at the overall market and you see what's happening with Tesla just again since the end of 2023, Tesla has not performed as well as the market. So for me, I'm going to be watching earnings, but earning, Tesla earnings aren't out for a while. So I think you could take selective short-term trades in Tesla up until the earnings to see exactly where we go. The reason Tesla is pushing back today, though, to be honest with you, is because the market's reversing and the market's rallying. And that's happening partially because NVIDIA is breaking out once again to brand new all-time highs. And people were shorting that stock in the last two days, Thursday and Friday last week, which was a terrible idea. People missed the rally. Then they were shorting it. And now it's breaking out higher. I mean, who knows where NVIDIA can go, but that's the real reason to me why the market is rallying here today. And so I think you've got to watch Tesla very carefully, short-term trades to the downside into the earnings, careful with your entry. And don't forget to take profits. Again, as I was just saying about the wild ride for 2024, it's really important for traders to take profit. Traders want to take trades yeah. and hold things forever and ever and ever. And if you don't have a power trend market to the upside, you can't hold everything long. If you don't have a power trend market yeah. to the downside, you can't hold everything out to a piggy target. It's very important. So let me jump in. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. 
Um, you had yeah, another short that you had was Boeing. We did talk about that a little bit with Joel Hawthorne. He also, as a trader, thought it had more downside. So since we're almost out of time, you mentioned NVIDIA. You saw the, the highs that we've been seeing, and that's a name that you do like for a long position. You also have a c crowd strike here and J.P. Morgan. Tell me um, where you think these stocks are headed. Do they each have 10% growth possibilities? What, why are these the long plays? Well, I think for sure, JPM, I mean, that's one of the best, that is the best performing bank of, you know, bar none. And as far as CrowdStrike, if you look at that chart, that chart has been unstoppable since the beginning of this year. I mean, you almost couldn't do anything wrong in that chart if you went long at every single solitary day. So again, I don't know exactly when the CrowdStrike earnings are, but it's hard to believe that that can't go all the way up to 300. And NVIDIA, I, I hate to say it, but I mean, 600 even looks in target for that. I don't know exactly when or if that can happen before the earnings. But some of these things can make more than a 10 percent move. These are stocks that can just run 20, 30 dollars in one day. They're almost close to the numbers that I just gave even. Mm -hmm. Understood. Thank you, Melissa Armo. Good to see you. Stock swoosh. Thanks yeah. for being here today.